I was told to look for the only pub on Sloan Street and meet a guy who knows a guy, James Ball, who knows Julian Assange, worked with him, and is somebody who's going to tell us a little bit about who this guy is and what he's doing. Like, love at first sight for you with him? Yeah, it wasn't love, but there's certainly a sense of this is something I want to see more of. There's something impressive here. We were working out of this country house, about 10 of us on laptops on a very slow How rural. far from where we're sitting today? So probably about 80 miles down the road. Uh -huh. Nice stately home, you're coming up the driveway, there was a housekeeper, she was told it was a tech startup. <laughs> and essentially everything started about midday, it kind of worked hacker hours. Assange would sort of hover through it like a ringmaster. He made all the decisions. No one has any deciding power in WikiLeaks except Assange. But in all honesty, he would spend most of his day just searching for anything people were saying about him or WikiLeaks. He will check Twitter, he will check everything. He wants to know. He will give all sorts of reasons, but this is a man who reads his own press. Yeah. But any doubt in your mind he wants Trump to win the election? I don't think he could be more explicit than he is. Trump supporters, that culture, that anger, that's something that he can really tap into and identify with. So knowing him as you do, what must be like for him, given his nature, to be confined that way? It's quite a difficult situation. In his hosts are watching him. They've been writing daily reports on him. They have worried about his psychological health, and he has worried about his psychological health. So what, what do you know about what he does there all day? Like, how much of his day is he working? One thing I know from when I was there was the WikiLeaks Twitter account. 99% of the time was Julian. I would imagine he is sitting and he is trying to get attention on his stuff. He wants his stay in the embassy not to be some mistake or some error or some afterthought. His whole thing is, this has got to be about the US wanting to take him down because he's the most dangerous man in the world. <laughs> 